Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Carabao Cup. It's Walsall up against Southampton. Yeah, cheers, Derek. Well, what a big moment for this club and these fans. But as underdogs, you've got to put the pressure on early doors. You've got to use that home advantage, push back the team that's playing against you, and hopefully get a goal just to put the pressure on. Well, he really is danger personified, but in this game, Lee, what do you think we might see from him? Well, I'm looking for power-based shooting. I mean, he's got an incredible leg on him. No bend, tends to hit it with his laces. Short back lift, just watch it go off his boot, though. And this is how the hosts will begin the game today. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfields will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. Thank you. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, as a team, they do have their stylistic preference, and it really is all about trying to put the opposition under pressure, making sure that they don't compose themselves. Lee, do you expect to see more of that in this game? Yeah, pretty much. They love to press high, don't they? It's their preferred style of play, winning the ball high up the pitch, which certainly benefits their strikers. They're very good at it. They've regained possession. Hoybier. Here's Lamina. And Hoybier with it. And threading it forward. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the goal will not stand. It is offside. Yeah, good football there, but just straight offside. I believe there's been a goal in the Forest game. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. Eight minutes played, 1-0. Thanks very much as always, Alan. Adams. Lemina. Danny Ings now. Well, that's not watertight defending. And slipped through beautifully. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. And that's an important intervention. Danny Ings! And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. Cook. Beautifully disguised ball. It's there for him. It's still alive. Not far away at all with the volley. Well, to catch it like that, you've got to have really good technique. And oh, so close. And giving them the gift of possession. Someone has found the net at that delightful pass. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. Apologies to our viewers for cutting Alan McAnally short there. Just to confirm, Liverpool have scored in that match. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Wonderful chance. And a goal it is, the opener in this game. Well, keep it tight, that's what both managers would have been insane. But now the opening goal's gone in. Tactics have got to change. Well, he's gone for pure power, and why not when you've got a rocket in your boot? What a strike. A chance to revisit the goal.
Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. One nil then. Maneuvering his way forward. Teammates in the middle. Cleared away comprehensively. He impressed hard. Cook could be a chance to break here. Opportunity it is. It has to be. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, look at this. That's what pace can do to you. They didn't see much danger. Then bang, up the pitch, in a heartbeat and a goal. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek. He's not happy. Just look at him. It's going their way, 2-0. And news of a goal in the Brentford game. Alan McAnally has the details. It's a goal for Brentford. 32 minutes played, 1-1. Thanks very much as always, Alan. McAllister, Donk. Well, the fans enjoyed that pass. And Hoybier with it. Ings. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Cook. There's a slide draw pass. He continues to make hay. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. My oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. McAllister. Hoybier. On the ball, Mohamed Elianoussi. And Hoybier with it. Danny Ings now. Can they trouble the opposition this time? <laughs> well, this would help them get back into the game. No, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, Derek, take another look at this now. There's nothing much, really, the keeper can do. It was good play to get in that position. He's not going to miss from there. A chance to revisit the goal. So there we have it. 2-1. Southampton, number 10, Chi Adams. Using his physical strength to shield it. Adams. And the whistle is sounded for half. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. An abundance of space. And Hoybier with it. El Yunusi. And moving the ball nicely. Ings. And now passing it through. And the referee has pointed to the spot. He's given the penalty. And now let's see if they can level it up. He's now got to be extra careful. A verbal warning rather than a caution here. Yeah, the next one, he knows where he's going in the book. Corner played into the box. 
The idea was to get the corner beyond the first defender, but he didn't succeed. Happy to take on the shot. Well, really, that would be meat and drink to most goalkeepers. Yeah, goalkeeper fully in control there. The hosts really haven't had too much of the ball, but they won't mind. They're winning this game. And what... Can he put it away? Oh, they really should have a two-goal cushion. Wow, he can't believe it, Derek. What a wonderful opportunity. You just wonder if they're going to live to regret that. An unforced error, you've got to say. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. Dangerous looking attack. And this whipped into the box. Pierre, he must finish! Wasn't far away from the target, Lee. No, it was decent. Really, really decent chance for the lad. They'll keep pushing away to try and get that equaliser. Well, you can sense the frustration growing on the touchline, Derek. He knows that was an opportunity to get back into this. Well, great read there to intercept. Ings. No spillage from the goalkeeper, routine. Getting news of a goal in the Liverpool match, Alan. It's a third goal for Liverpool. 62 minutes played, 3-0. Thank you, Alan McAnally. Here's Lemina. No real conviction in the challenge. But he stopped them just when they looked menacing. Read it superbly to take back possession. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Can't miss, surely! And that's easy peasy for the keeper. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Lost possession. Well, it's come down to the final 20 minutes here. Genepo. Ings. This attack looks highly promising. The delivery. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Well, I must say he acquitted himself well under pressure. Cook. What can he do from here? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. An attack full of promise. He's got to score! Well, it might still work out for them. Much more straightforward for the keeper this time, but previously he had work to do. Well, double bubble. He gets the ball in the end, but the first save he makes, absolutely brilliant. Well, an effort he would like to airbrush from history. Well, he should be doing better than that. He had options around him too. He chose the wrong one. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Good. Jan Valéry. It's with Moussa Genepo. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Can he put it away? Superb volley, but the woodwork gets in the way. Well, it's so difficult to get that on target, and he so nearly did. Just listen to the fans here, Derek. They've just kept their noses in front, and these fans are doing their best to push them to the final whistle. A chance to whip it in. Will he finish? His third goal of the match, and you cannot argue with that. Well, he's tearing this defence apart. They can't cope with him. Well, Derek, he can relax now. He's got the hat-trick. Fully deserved. Well done indeed.